Scholasticism is a medieval school of philosophy that sought to synthesize classical philosophy, particularly that of Aristotle, with Christian theology. It emerged as a dominant intellectual movement in medieval Europe, spanning roughly from the 9th to the 17th century, with its peak during the 12th and 13th centuries. Scholasticism's methods of critical reasoning and logical analysis laid the groundwork for modern Western thought, influencing fields ranging from theology to natural sciences. The early medieval period following the collapse of the Western Roman Empire was characterized by a decline in urban life and intellectual activity in Western Europe. The church became the primary institution preserving knowledge, maintaining literacy, and providing a semblance of order through monasteries and cathedral schools. These institutions focused mainly on religious education and the preservation of classical texts. The 11th century marked the beginning of the High Middle Ages, a period of significant intellectual revival. This era saw the establishment of the first universities in Europe, such as those in Bologna, Paris and Oxford. These universities became centers for learning and scholarship, fostering the development of new intellectual methods, including scholasticism. The rediscovery and translation of classical texts, especially those of Aristotle, had a profound impact on medieval intellectual life. Scholars such as Boethius and John Scotus Eriogena translated and commented on these works, providing the foundation for the synthesis of ancient philosophy with Christian theology. This integration became a central aim of scholasticism. At the heart of scholasticism is the dialectical method, which involves a process of inquiry and debate through logical reasoning. Scholars would pose questions, present arguments or theses and counter-arguments, ultimately seeking to resolve contradictions and reach a synthesis. A key feature of scholastic methodology was the use of questions, questions and disputationes, debates. These exercises encouraged scholars to engage deeply with complex issues, exploring multiple perspectives and sharpening their analytical skills. Scholasticism is characterized by its rigorous, systematic approach to analyzing texts and arguments. Scholars meticulously examined theological and philosophical works, often producing comprehensive commentaries that sought to clarify and reconcile difficult passages. Scholastic thinkers produced extensive summaries known as summas, which attempted to systematically address and organize knowledge on specific topics. These works often served as reference guides for students and scholars. Logic was a central component of scholastic education. Medieval scholars relied heavily on Aristotle's logical works, such as the Organon, to develop their methods of reasoning. The use of syllogistic logic, a form of deductive reasoning, became a hallmark of scholastic analysis. Anselm of Canterbury, 1033 to 1109, an Italian Benedictine monk and theologian, is often considered one of the founders of scholasticism. He is best known for his ontological argument for the existence of God presented in his work Proslogion. Anselm's approach emphasized the compatibility of faith and reason, encapsulated in his famous dictum, I believe so that I may understand. Peter Abelard was a French philosopher and theologian who made significant contributions to scholasticism through his development of the method of sic et non, yes and no. This method involved presenting conflicting viewpoints on theological issues and using logical analysis to resolve contradictions. Abelard's work laid the groundwork for more sophisticated approaches to scholarly inquiry. Thomas Aquinas, an Italian Dominican friar and theologian, is perhaps the most influential scholastic thinker. His monumental work, Summa Theologica, aimed to reconcile the teachings of Aristotle with Christian doctrine systematically. Aquinas's synthesis of faith and reason had a lasting impact on Catholic theology and remains influential to this day. He argued that reason and revelation are complementary paths to understanding truth, a view that continues to shape theological and philosophical discourse. William of Ockham, an English Franciscan friar and philosopher, is known for his principle of parsimony, commonly referred to as Occam's razor. This principle suggests that the simplest explanation is usually the best, challenging the more complex scholastic arguments of his predecessors. Occam's emphasis on simplicity and clarity helped pave the way for modern scientific inquiry. 
During the High Middle Ages, universities became the primary institutions for higher learning in Europe. These centers of education played a crucial role in developing and disseminating scholasticism. The University of Paris, in particular, became a hub for scholastic scholarship, attracting students and scholars from across Europe. The curriculum at medieval universities was heavily influenced by the scholastic method. Students studied the trivium, grammar, rhetoric and logic, and the quadrivium, arithmetic, geometry, music and astronomy, before advancing to more specialized subjects such as theology, law and medicine. Instruction relied heavily on lectures, commentaries and disputations, fostering an environment of intellectual rigor and debate. Disputation was a key component of scholastic education. These formal debates allowed students and scholars to engage in intellectual dialogue, testing their knowledge and reasoning skills. Disputations often focused on specific questions or questiones, encouraging participants to explore different perspectives and reach a deeper understanding. Scholasticism laid the groundwork for modern educational practices by emphasizing critical thinking, logical analysis, and structured learning. The methods developed by scholastic scholars continue to influence teaching and learning in universities today. The scholastic method of inquiry had a lasting impact on the fields of philosophy and theology. By reconciling faith and reason, scholastic thinkers demonstrated that religious beliefs could be examined and understood through rational inquiry. This approach paved the way for later philosophical developments during the Renaissance and the Enlightenment. Despite its contributions, scholasticism faced criticism for its perceived rigidity and reliance on authority. Critics argued that the method's focus on reconciling conflicting viewpoints limited the potential for original thought and innovation. As the Renaissance ushered in a new era of humanism and scientific discovery, scholasticism gradually declined in influence. The legacy of scholasticism is evident in the ongoing dialogue between faith and reason, as well as in the continued emphasis on logic and critical analysis in education. While the movement's influence waned with the rise of humanism and modern science, its methods and insights continue to shape intellectual discourse. Scholasticism was a transformative intellectual movement that shaped medieval thought and laid the foundation for modern education. By synthesizing classical philosophy with Christian theology, Scholastic scholars developed a method of inquiry that emphasized critical thinking, logic, and structured learning. While the movement faced criticism and eventually declined, its impact on philosophy, theology, and education endures to this day. Understanding scholasticism provides valuable insights into the history of ideas and the development of Western thought, highlighting the enduring interplay between faith and reason in the pursuit of knowledge.